I'm recording. I asked my son to make this for me. I'm waiting on it. Oh, that would be nice. <laughs> Action. All right, let's go ahead and start with our hello song. Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Can you touch your eyes? Can you touch your toes? Can you turn around? Can you say hello? Hello, hello. Can you stamp your feet? Hello, hello. Can you stamp your feet? Can you stretch your spine? Can you touch your toes? Can you turn around? Can you say hello? Hello! Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Hello, hello. Can you stamp your feet? I didn't hear that. <laughs> All right, hello, friends. Let's go ahead and look at our schedule. Today, we're going to say hello with our hello song and say, Hi, Makoa! Oh, Makoa! I like that fire hat. Can you lift up a computer up so I can see it? I love it. Let's see. We're going to say hello. We're going to do our calendar. We're going to do a special song followed by a special book. And then I have some pictures to show and tell. And then it'll be time to say goodbye. It's also the letter of the day is O. So we'll be practicing the letter of the day too. All right, let's see. We're gonna say, hello, James. Hi, Makoa. Love your hat, Makoa. I know, that's in our home learning. Yes. Home learning. I remember Natalie made something the other day and now, Koa, I'm so proud of her friends. Hello, Leo. Hi, Kartikeya. Kartikeya. Me and Kartikeya both have K's at the beginning of our name. Hi, Charlie. Mm -hmm. Hi, Mason. So much glare. Hi, Raul. Mm -hmm. We can say hello to Aaron and hello to Lucas. Hi, friends. see. There's a friend here who's a PM friend, but loves to come in the morning. Morning, Elizabeth. Hello, Charlotte. All right, and today, teachers, we have Ruchi, Marietta, Helen, Heidi, and Teacher Paula. All right, friends, let's go ahead and get started with our calendar. All right. Today, the month is still May, and May starts with an M. The day is 8. Today is the 8th of May. Woo! Later, folks. Later. All right. Yesterday was Thursday. Today is Friday. And we have a new letter of the week. This letter. Elizabeth, it's what a letter, letter not a number. Oh. 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 That was tricky, Carol Liz, because there yeah. is a number that looks like that. Yep, it's not and that's a number. What number? <laughs> What's the number that has the same shape as O? Who knows it? I'm waiting for Francisco. You know it. What's the number? <laughs> A zero. A zero. Good job. Zero. Let's talk about some words that begin with O. Here's one. Oh, and 
some of our friends, their classroom has this that where, animal. Yeah, this is where teacher Helen's classes too. Yeah. Kartikeya. Kartikeya. Look at teacher Carol Liz. What is she showing? Can you see that? Screen. Octopus. An octopus. Octopus. Octopus touch with oh. This one's a tricky bird. Who knows? Who thinks they know what bird this is? Who this knows is this? I'm waiting for friends to raise their hand so we can. Ah, Makoa, you know it. What's the name of that bird? Uh, uh, ostrich. Ostrich. An ostrich. Yes. Ostrich. It's an ostrich. Yes. That does not fly. And it has a cousin. Its cousin name is Emu. He's in Australia. All right. Can we think of other words that start with the letter O? I actually know that we have a student in our afternoon class whose name is Oliver. His name starts with an O. There is a shape that starts with O. Or maybe more than one. But now I'm thinking of two shapes. Let's see. Oh, Elizabeth. Oval. Oval. And there is another shape that has eight corners and eight sides. Let's start with O. It's an octagon. Let's see. I know your friends know what an octagon. I believe I some some of our friends do. Okay. Any other words that start with O? Makua, can you think of a word that starts with O? We are What did you say, friend? I'm gonna play shop. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I don't see Kartikeya, can you think of an of a word? We our classroom animal. Mm-hmm. What are we? Teacher Helen is in the octopus classroom. And our animal is let's see. Ooh, ooh. Elizabeth. A, a owl. It's an owl. Good job, Elizabeth. Here we go. We have oh, owl. Owl. Na, 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 na. We have an oval, the shape. We have an octagon, starts with an O. And we have an owl, which is our team. Octagon, oh, an owl. And then we have a friend whose name starts with an O. His name is Oliver. All right, friends. We're gonna talk about the color of the day too, and then we'll practice our shape. We'll go ahead and practice our letter of the day. So here is a color, our color of the day. Mm -hmm. I have an idea what color of the day. I see lots of teachers holding up things of this color. Elizabeth is having, a... Elizabeth, what color? Yellow. Yellow. This is yellow. Yellow, nice yellow crayon. Good work. All right, I'm going to show you some pictures of things that are yellow. Thank and you. And on Monday, Teacher Yvonne had the idea that we should go outside and look for flowers and things like that. So I thought, what if I go on a color hunt but outside? So I walked around my neighborhood and I looked for things that were yellow. So I'm going to show you the pictures of things that I found in my neighborhood that are yellow. And you can see if you can find different things or you can see if you can find the same ones I did in your neighborhood. Thousand windows open. Is this the right window? Uh, no, it's a Zoom window. Zoom meeting. Technology. <laughs> Know? Yeah, this is a video. No, this is uh, Blake's picture. My now, and uh, now, yes, yes. 
Woohoo! <laughs> These are things that I found outside when I walked my neighborhood that are yellow, like the color of the day. I found two different kinds of flowers that are yellow. And I found this. Who knows what this is? Hmm. Who can recognize something in my picture? Let's see. Elizabeth, you are raising your hand all the time. I need to ask another. Oh. Kartikeya. Oh, Kartikeya. 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 What do you see, Kartikeya? What is it? No, it's violet. Violet? It's not violet. It's not violet. What is this? Uh -huh. yeah, it's, it's close. You do attach a fire hose to one part of this. It's a fire hydrant, and that is yellow. I found some dots. These circles are reflectors. So at night, they kind of shine with your light. Those are yellow. And in the street, I found stripes, lines to help us separate the street so we go the right way. And they were yellow. And I found a sign that was yellow as well. And I found one more set of pictures in my neighborhood that were yellow. Ooh, I found another hot. flower that was yellow. That's three flowers. Can anybody else recognize something here that's yellow? Let's see. Raise your hand if you can recognize something that is yellow there. Makoa. I see Koa. Let's see. Makoa's hand Makoa. is up. Mm -hmm. okay. What's yellow? Uh, this one, this one, this one, this one. Mm. Can you name? Can you say the name, Koa? I have a sign that says kids at play. I have some more flowers. And this and I have a crosswalk and I have monkey bars. Monkey bars are yellow. Say monkey bars. Monkey bars. Monkey bars. Monkey, monkey bars. bars. You'll know where I live. Good job. <laughs> All right, friends. And Koa is showing us his toys, toys that are yellow. He has have yellow toys, Makoa. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go ahead and practice our letter O, our letter for the day. You can practice in the air so you can have your finger up. All right, here we go. Oh, it's there today. We'll start from, you can start from the middle. We go around, we're gonna do a circle, 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 circle. Don't stop, don't stop, all the way around. It's almost like drawing a circle. Almost like drawing a circle. We're gonna practice one more time. Start from the middle. Round, round, curves, curve, 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 and don't stop until you connect, until you make a hole. Oh, it's kinda of like a circle. Let's see. Here I started our O. This is our little notebook that we had at school in our building. And we practice some O's with. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start on my notebook. And I'm gonna start from the middle. I'm gonna go all the way around without stopping until I hit the middle again. So I connect my circle. I'm gonna try again on my own. I'm gonna start in the middle and I'm gonna keep on going all the way around. So I connect kind of like a circle. Now let's see. It says color the pictures that begin with the letter O. Does octopus start with O? I want all of you to answer so you can show thumbs up or thumbs down. Does octopus start with O? Thank you for thumbs I, up, Makawa. I see Koa thumbs up. Elizabeth and Kartikeya, what do you think? Elizabeth is showing thumbs up. I think Co uh, Kartike is frozen. Kartike might be frozen. Mm -hmm. What about a bicycle? Does a bicycle start with O? Uh, you can show me thumbs down or thumbs up. There you go. Mm -hmm. What about pencil? Does a pencil does a pencil start with O? Now we can see you, Kartike. What do you think? You can show thumbs up or thumbs down. Pencil. Right here. P -p Pencil. Thumbs down. Where is it? What about an orange? Does an orange 
start with O. Orange, start with O. Okay, I see Elizabeth has thumbs up. Kartikeya has Kartikea. thumbs up. Thank you, Kartikeya. And Koa, thumbs up. Here's one of our pictures that we had this morning at our calendar. Does ostrich start with O? Ostrich. Can you show your, your thumbs up or thumbs down so I can see? I see Kartikeya has his thumb up. Hi, your Kartikeya, so everyone can see. Ostrich. And Koa, Elizabeth, good job, friends. All right, good work, friends. And we said that to make an O, we need a whole circle, almost like a circle, to make a big O. Big O. All right, friends, let's take a look at our schedule again. It says we said hello. We did our calendar. We said it was Friday and it was May 8th, and our letter of the day is O, and our color was yellow. And now we're gonna do a special song because this weekend is Mother's Day. It's the day where you really hug your mom tight or your grandma, or your aunt, or that special lady that takes care of you during the day. So we're gonna Let's go say ahead. say bye to Teacher Helen and happy Mother's Day, Helen. Hey, Teacher Helen. Bye, bye Helen. Helen. Thank you for coming to our circle. All right, we're gonna try. Mr. Careless is gonna try to, no, now we're sharing a screen. How are we doing on the screen share? Uh, we now we're good. We we are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we have a story, and then we'll do our song. It's story time. A special Mother's Day by Elisa Leung. Come along, Ella. It's Mother's Day today. Let's do something special for Mommy. We will give Mommy some paintings. You make a hand printing. I will paint a picture of Mommy. Mommy is very pretty. She likes to wear necklaces. We will use these beads to make her a beautiful necklace. We will bake Mommy a cake. She likes chocolate. We will make her a chocolate cake. It's hot today. We will make Mommy some lemonade. She likes it cold with lots of ice. We will make a card for Mommy. Let's decorate the card with lots of hearts. I write, we love you, Mommy. Mommy's favorite flower is a daisy. We will pick lots of them. They are so lovely. Don't peek, Mommy. I'll... All right. On Sunday, it'll be Mother's Day, and you can give your mom, you can make her a card, you can make her a necklace, you can get some flowers outside, pick some flowers for your mom, or give her a nice hug and tell her you love her. All right, we're gonna do one Mother's Day song. Mm -hmm.
Elizabeth. And that brings me to the next thing we're doing. We're going to share some pictures that some of our friends have sent us. Hopefully if I can share this right. Here we go. All right. There's Kartikeya. Are we on the, we're all on the same page? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Kartikeya, he did, he did our line it up to see which one's from shortest to tallest. And he did just like I do, where we use cans sometimes. And he seemed that he liked that activity, Teacher Curlis. He's so happy. Yes. All right, let's see. Sometimes Miles. Hmm. Uh, we, could, we don't see Miles. Good I job, Kartikeya. Yes. Maybe stop sharing and try again with Miles. Oh my. Distance learning sometimes. You are doing great, Teacher Curlis. We are so proud. Thank you. How about now? Yes. Here's Miles. And Miles is showing us how to stay healthy while we are still at home, taking care of our teeth, taking care of our bodies by exercising, taking showers, staying clean. A great way to stay healthy at home. I see Kartike showing us how to brush his teeth. Yes. Great way to stay healthy at home. All right, I have two more. One of our afternoon friends. Yes, Blake. Lo that's Lorenzo. Are we in Lorenzo? It's Lorenzo's picture. Not on my screen. <laughs> okay, well, we are seeing Lorenzo. There we go. That was on my screen. <laughs> we see that Lorenzo at home did a lineup and collected five things. He did five books, he did five jars of seasoning, five bottles, five toys, and he also lined them up from tallest to shortest. Zoom is playing games on you today, Carolus. Mm -mm. We're trying. How about now? Blake. It's and Blake. His Blake and his brother went outside and collected some sticks and some pine cones and some rocks, and they made one of those mandolins. So they made a design with things that they collected outside. And you can do that too. You can get an idea and go outside and collect things and make pictures. Or if you go to our home learning next week, teacher Heidi had the idea of painting with nature. So you can use pine cones and sticks and paint as well. What about now? Now we are still seeing Blake and Finn. Oh my. Patience. Patience during this time at home. Yes. Something we all need. Now we can see Rosie's. And then I have our afternoon friend Rosie. She sent us a picture as well. Nighttime pictures with flowers and mountains. So if you want to share some pictures or some activities you're doing at home by yourself or with your family, you can go ahead and share it. Just like Makoa wore his firefighter hat today that he made and Elizabeth is showing us her pictures. All right, we are almost done with Circle Friends. I know that teacher Heidi wanted to review and point out some activities that she's been doing at home. So friends, do you remember we read the book, Pete the Cat and the Groovy Buttons? Do you guys remember how many buttons he started with? Hmm. Hmm. How many buttons were on his shirt? First one he, Start. Elizabeth, how many buttons did he start off with? Uh, four. Four, you're right. And look at, I have an orange button, a blue button, a yellow button, and a green button. Uh, now, Makoa, yeah. if I take one button off, pop, how many are left? Three. Three, you're right. One more time. I take one more button off. Kartikeya, oh. how many buttons are left? How many buttons? Look at Heidi, Kartikeya. Sorry, our screens are kind of freezing. I think our internet it is, is It was early. Is it? Yes. 
Kartike, is it one or two? Can you see the screen? Yeah, this one. How many buttons do you see? I see the one. One. No? Look there. <laughs> How many buttons, Kartike? Let's count. One, two. two. Show me two with your hands. Two. Sure. Yay! Yes. Two. Show two. Right. Good job, friend. Oh, good yeah. job. Sure. And boom. Another button came off. Oh no. <gasps> Elizabeth, how many are left? One. You're right. Good job. Now, Vince, do you remember our rhyming words? Do you remember our rhyming words? I will unmute all three friends yeah, and you right. can answer questions. Yeah. You can ask yeah. them. Carol Liz did frog uh, dog. and dog. Elizabeth, can you think of another rhyming word? Hmm. Maybe my board will help. Teacher Heidi has some ideas there. Hey. This is hog. Oh. See, it has the OG at the end, like dog and frog. Dog and frog. And hog. And hog. Yes. And Kartikeya, what's down here? This it starts one. with an L. Dog. Look, good job. That's wonderful. Now, Makoa, I'm going to challenge you. What do you think this is? No, no challenge for Koa. Koa is ready. Jog. Okay, Elizabeth, last one. Look at this. This is a tricky one. It starts with an F. Og. Do you say fog? Fog. Fog, right. Sometimes fog in the morning it's gray. Wine. Fog and og wine. They That's do. Right. You right. Good job, you guys. Thank you so much, Teacher, Teacher Heidi. Heidi. You yes, bet. nice work, Teacher Heidi. Super excited. Teacher Heidi is giving us a great review to go into the weekend and have those things, those ideas still in our heads, fresh. So when Monday, when we come back, we can finish our Pete the Cat book, just like Teacher Heidi did with our Pete the Cat here. And you can practice, like Teacher Marieta said, using a flipbook method and printing out pictures or drawing pictures of words that rhyme with frog, log, hog, jog. Does anybody jog? Eh, jog. All right, friends, it's time to check our schedule one last time. We said hello. We did our calendar. The letter of the week is Oh, we did a song and a book to celebrate Mother's Day. We shared some pictures or tried to share some pictures of things that our friends do during the week. And now it's time to say goodbye. So if you find teacher Ruchi, she has the goodbye book. And I hope everyone does the actions because we've been doing this book every day all year long to say goodbye. All right, friends, here we go. See you later, alligator. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Bye-bye, butterfly. Give a hug, ladybug. Be sweet, parakeet. Blow a kiss, goldfish. See you soon, baboon. Take care, polar bear. <sighs> Cold. Out the door, dinosaur. Stomp, stomp, stomp. So long, King Kong. Oh, 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 oh. And bye, said the fly. The end. El fin. All done for today, Friday, friends. Bye, friends. Bye, everyone. Bye. It will be warm outside, so don't forget to go outside and play. And don't forget to say Happy Mother's Day to your mom. All right. Bye, friends. Bye, Kartikeya.
Hi, Makala.